All right, Caleb, certainly on a hot day like this, it's tough on firefighters, especially when they're called to battle a fully involved, involved barn fire. And that's what happened on Williams Road in Greenfield Township right around noontime today. Our Lisa Adams was there. Good evening, Lisa. Good evening, Mike. It was windy, it was hot, and the flames not only destroyed the barn right next to a house, but they touched off a grass fire, too. It was a hot fire on a very hot day. The Greenfield Fire Chief said he arrived in six minutes and the fire had already taken off. On first blush, the, all the most, almost all the siding was gone. All that was left was the skeleton. So it had been burning for a while, uh, cause unknown. No livestock or hay in this barn, just lawnmowers and equipment. The way the wind was blowing sparked a grass fire to the north, but spared the house. Check the house for extension. A little bit of wrinkling on the siding on the house. Uh, the homeowner was out here spraying down the side of his building with a garden hose, which was awesome. And suiting up in heavy firefighting gear on a hot day? It's miserable. This gear is made to protect you from heat. It also traps in all your heat. So it's, it's, it really is warm. Even though there was no chance of saving this barn, tons of mutual aid companies showed up to relieve these firefighters in the heat and to make sure the adjacent grass fire didn't continue to spread. Um, so, of all the firefighters who are out here, is everybody okay? Any everybody's issues with Everybody's you? fine. We're passing out water and energy drinks, and the crews that handled the brush fire have moved up here to relieve some of these guys on the hose lines. Mike, I have to say they had water in cans that looked like beer, but it clearly said water on it. They know what they have to do. It's unclear what sparked the fire, but Penelick responded to the scene after the fire was out. Chief Bartlett had this advice. In this heat, make sure that your mower or other equipment cools down before you put it away. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.